the four-team ladder match with Starks and Big Bill versus the House of Bleck versus LaFers and Goobers versus FTR. And has there ever been a better tag team than FTR that almost never gets a chance to show how good they are? They're always either with the children or stuck in this multiple team, no rules, gaga or the stunt shows. And let's face again, whether it's, it's a four team match, it's probably not going to be any good. Then you put 15 ladders out there. And what it is, is again, another match that's phony as and dangerous at the same time. It makes no sense. It goes on forever. There's no semblance of a contest or a conflict between entities or parties. It's a bunch of people cooperating to in turn take moves and bumps that are dangerous. And I, you know, I just got so bored watching it. You can't really even say, well, they did this and that and they started the heat on and this guy hurt his leg because it doesn't connect from one moment to the next. It's just over and over, crash, bang, boom. If I was going to try to notate everything wrong with it from a wrestling standpoint, it would have taken me as long to watch this match as the whole pay-per-view was. So, but have FTR now been neutralized and marginalized and neutered? They were so popular at one point in the team with Punk and the matches with Gin and Juice. And now Starks, who's a heel... Seemed to be the most popular guy in the match. I think the House of Black is in right now an indie level tag team that could probably do something with a lot of guidance, but not their own. And you know, the other team needs to find a different line of work. So LFI? Yes, LaFuckers and Goobers. You know how they got that name? How did they get that name? LFI no. I see what you did there. Hold on one second. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Tip the waitress, try the veal, or try the waitress and tip the veal. We don't care what you do. After about a million sloppy, dangerous bumps on ladders and furniture for no good reason in a match that nobody will remember next week, Starks knocked Cash off the ladder and got the belts. So, again, they even they beat FTR when they've got a goddamn microscopic masked Mexican on one of the other teams that could easily be knocked off at last that, who gives a shit? Nobody will even recognize him next week. He's, if he changes color of his outfit, he looks like everybody else. I mean, was there anything I missed here with this? I don't, what the fuck? I mean, it was a ladder match. We've seen a lot of these. They don't really stand out that much anymore. I think FTR need time off, not because of anything other than, is there anyone you want to see them wrestle right now? No. I'd rather see more of Starks and Big Bill actually right now, more than anything else. At least they're fresh. FTR have kind of exhausted their opponents and exciting things to do until something else happens. I mean, they've had a good run. But do you get excited about seeing FTR right now? Well, no. And that's... <sighs> Again, that's the problem. I would be excited to see a, a three out of five fall, 90-minute time limit rematch of that goddamn classic that they had that everybody said was the greatest tag team match they'd ever seen. But they've, they've sent Jay off to wrestle for a fucking title that he's not equipped to hold. And now Juice, they said Juice is hurt, right? He's injured. He wasn't on this show. That's what I uh, heard, yeah. So I'd be excited for that, but I'd also be excited just to see FTR in regular. They could have got a tag match out of Starks and Big Bill, a real one, instead of the schmas they did before when they lost the belts. They could have maybe got a fucking tag match out of the House of Black. But it's always the stunt shows, the furniture, and nobody's going to remember it. That's the problem, especially after everything else that goes on in this show. Plus, no one has any feuds. I mean, there are all these great Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express matches, Midnight Express Fantastics matches. Those are great matches. But there were feuds behind them. FTR have great matches. Have they had a great feud? 
And I know the matches with the Briscoes are great. Was that a great feud? Or was it like, we respect you, so we'll wrestle you again and see <laughs> who's the best man? That's with a different a stipulation. Yeah, and it can't be any more of like, I want you to be the best you've ever been. No, fuck that. No more of that shit either. Well, and, and there were never any angles. And part of that was because they couldn't put the Briscoes on TV. But it, it, wa it wasn't a feud. It was a trilogy of matches. But beyond the Briscoes, that's every FTR thing. Whether yeah. it's the Bucks, which took place over several years, Juice and Jay, which just happened. There's no feuds. It's like the well, feud but is, now, but we wrestled you and had a great match, so we need to do it again. That's our feud. There's no but feuds. But you're, you're back to talking about Tony's booking. Nobody has feuds. They have matches. Like we never, that's the one thing that separates, not, not the one thing, but when you look at FTR versus like the classic tag teams, Tully and R, Midnight Express, Heart Foundation, whoever gets thrown into the conversation, FTR have never done that. They've never just had a great feud with anyone other than like a feud based around winning and like just based around the actual match. Not like this guy did something to me. I'm going to get him or we did something. We're heels and we yes. do something to someone else. They're going to want to get us. It's never done. And I don't know right now. I mean, if Jay and juice isn't going to happen, it's not going to happen for a while. And I'm not as excited about Jay white right now as I was months ago. I think FTR, what is there for FTR to do right now that you'd want to see? Well, and that's the thing is that it, it, nobody in this company has a strong rival. They had set things up in the past where it would have been Punk and MJF or it would have been Danielson and who, but it, it, it gets dropped constantly. Tony, Tony has never done anything bad to anybody and nobody's ever done anything bad to him because he's too rich. So he doesn't understand those principles. Yeah, the biggest feud, if you really think about it, is Swerve versus Hangman. Well, yeah, and, and, and those two idiots, as we now know, wrote that horrible shit on their own. Because how else can you explain it? It's totally unlike anything else Tony has done, and, and I never thought I'd say this, but that's a good thing. Well, certainly good for Swerve. He's getting over. We'll see about Adam Page, but... Terrorizing the babies. That was the uh, four-way tag team ladder match. 